I'm Jennifer. I'm a gig worker, a bike courier, and also president of Gig Workers United. I've been delivering in Toronto for about four years. I work on apps like Uber Eats and DoorDash and Skip the Dishes and even Corner Shop. I was working another job. I wasn't making enough money. I googled how could I get a job quickly without spending like six months sending out resumes. Um, and so I applied for a job with DoorDash. I was signed up and ready to work within 48 hours. And so I stuck with it. Right now, I get paid on average about $3 per delivery. And on average, that's a five and a half to six and a half kilometer delivery. Now that, that five and a half, six and a half kilometers is only from the restaurant to where the customer lives. That does not include the travel time or the number of kilometers that I have to bike from wherever I am to where the restaurant is. And sometimes that can even be the bigger part of the delivery. Can I afford to do this order? Will I make money on this order knowing that I'm three and a half kilometers away from the restaurant, from the restaurant to the customer is say five and a half kilometers? And the pay is $3. I log in, maybe I just log in for a dinner shift you know, 4.45, and then it's really, really busy. And at 9.30, when I expect to go home, it's still really busy. And customers are tipping, and I'm earning money. I might keep working. I might keep working until 2 a.m., even though I really should be in bed at 11. Because I don't know that customers will be tipping and there will be orders tomorrow night. But I know that there is money today. Working past when you're tired, past when it's safe for you to keep working is a norm in the gig economy. And I don't think that any of the apps intend to support gig workers. The only support that we can find is within communities of gig workers, like Gig Workers United. The only support that I have ever seen for gig workers has come from other gig workers. If we are misclassified as an independent contractor, a type of person who does not have rights, we can't do anything to change all of the horrible things that we experience at work. If we are correctly classified as an employee, we have the ability to use our union, use our collective strength as gig workers who unite with each other to fight for and win changes that relate to our pay, to our working situations, to the conditions that we experience to protect ourselves and also to empower ourselves.